Okay, man, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be doing an in depth VOD review into REIT, and it's kind of a reaction for me. I've done a lot of VOD reviews in my own time, I've done a lot of VOD reviews on YouTube and put them up. I've actually never looked at a piece of REIT gameplay. I've heard rumors, and I know he's a very high quality player. I've seen clips, to be fair, but I've never seen proper gameplay of how he is in the moment because anything can be changed to make someone look good. I'm not saying anything about REIT, man, because I know he's a top tier player. If not, I wouldn't be VOD reviewing him. And this gameplay is uh, 30 kills in a solo arena champion division. I couldn't find any relevant tournaments from FNCS or DreamHack. So I guess this is the next best thing. Obviously, I will link his video down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff. And let's get straight into it right now. Okay, boys, we're starting it off kind of just off spawn. He did get about 12 kills from stream snipers alone. So I didn't want to VOD review that because they're free kills and it's not worth your time watching it so we're going to start off two minutes 50 seconds in it is only a 10 minute video but we're going to go ham and it might be a 15 16 minute video by the time we're done maybe a bit longer and i just want to show you what happens here and how he abuses like peaking without building it's it, like it's almost luring his opponent in to, uh, like watch just watch so an opponent's breaking in he gets his heal off now look he already had his crosshair placement up. You get me? He was not intending to reset because if he goes to reset like this with his crosshair lined up, he can't because it's not on the build. So he would have to put his crosshair here and reset. So he decides to hold put, keep his crosshair there, takes the shot and crouches down to the left. So in order for his opponent to hit him, he just got hit for 72 damage. His opponent, why is there two 72s? Oh, some animation, we caught it on a mid frame. He has to come in here. So he has to be in the center of this box to get this shot off. Um, to get it cleanly off and hit a lot of damage and enough damage to kill him so he is abusing a very very weird situation right now because he's definitely on lower health but look look how he spam like i will do it in full motion but look look how he spam crouches right now it's the second one and then adjusts his crosshair and moves his body even further into the left corner so now in order for him to hit him this is where you could hit him before like i said he had to be in the center to hit him he's after dodging the bullet but now in order for this guy to hit um Re, he's got to pull even more right which opens him up even more so watch what happens pulls more to the right and re, re gets the kill and when you watch that in fast motion you'll see him absolutely spam crouching watch so he did get boxed now this is the full thing he gets hit heavy he's on 33 hp he gets his minis off risky risky the way he didn't have that reset i would have had that reset beforehand and um, just off off the rip obviously in heat at the moment he can't really pick on that so that's just something I'm noticing. Good, now look at him, the spam spam crouch to get the speed on them. This kid is so, so I can't even lie. So that's good. Someone else is on him. He's crafting. What's he going for? Probably a spaz. Yep. Good decision. What a stream sniper. Infantry rifle. Did you, did you keep that infantry rifle? No, he didn't. Like, what did I just read? I find it interesting the way he's playing on these builds. For the com slight competitive advantage that they do offer. Because they offer a shit ton of input delay and stuff, but... Um, they do interrupt your vision, in my opinion. I guess it might be just personal preference at the end of the day. Like, if you want to sacrifice uh, vision for peace control. Or for input delay, my bad. Which basically is peace control. So he is in a third party situation. You see the way he backs off there? That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a note. That's a note right there. So watch this. He comes in from above. So he's starting off the fight from above. Nice. Gets peace. Drops down. Gets full peace. To, oh, that's his own peace. So he's fully boxed right there. No one can harm him. He's in brick. Right here. When his opponent comes out, watch. See, see the way... Watch when he, when he pulls to the left to get right-hand peak at the max. Look like that. When he glues himself to that wall, it's impossible for his opponent to hit him. He doesn't get peace control, though, but he just waits patiently. Like and see the way, like see the way he did that. Watch. He probably will say it as well. Look at the way he played that. When he pressed himself up against his opponent wall. All right, give us an ad. Nice. That's a scam. Three months. Go away. Watch. See the way he presses himself now. Watch him sprint against this wall. Look, he's pushing forward, so that way he knows he's going to yellow it and glitch through. And his opponent is... What's with these odds, man? 
I'm trying to do a vod review, bro. Re is scamming me, man. I better be getting paid yeah, for these man. ads. Not like I was just sitting there on my fucking spaz pointing this shit out there, nothing. Right, anyway. Oh, I know it's nice. weird. I see the way he has two boxes. He's giving himself a lot of options now. Giving himself two like two boxes. Crosshair right on him. Look at this crosshair. He's playing relaxed. He's playing relaxed. He's, you see, Dude, his play style is so clean because he looks like a bot. The way he plays like that. But as soon as his opponent edits, he hits him heavy and then goes on the aggressive. That's what I'm saying is sometimes you got to be like defensive to get the advantage. And I'm only after noticing he's a controller player as well. Right, he just wants to heal. That's fair enough. Would he go for the big pots? Yep, that's that's a good decision as well. If he can get him off, he baited his opponent over with that wall. That was smart. He's getting Bro. creamed. Good peaks, oh. abusing peaks. Fucked it. He needs to get these heals off, man. Yeah. Nice. How'd you play this? Tries to get the ramp in. Did he get it in? Nice cheap stuff, though. Yeah, he actually did get it in as well. Exploits in, using the ramp. That is that is ten thousand IQ, bro. Everything had a purpose there. It didn't work out the way he intended to exploit in. Yeah. When he when he phased the ramp in, phases the ramp in, gets it in. He fell by accident, I think. Nice cheap. And he gets back up and look at this diagonal exploit. The opponent not even expecting. Gets the nice edit off. Has the high ground from the edit. So I mean, that, those few inches matter. That's smart using that. I've never seen that exploit before, the way he chilled on that ramp. Oh, almost. This guy is a peace control genius, bro. Damn. Can I hurt the quality up by any chance? Ah, I can. So I don't think it does that, and if it's on auto or on max, I don't really think it does anything at all. Good hit. He got dropped down, 124. Crosshair placement, man. This guy, like, I'm not dissing him by saying, like, he could have terrible aim, but he has, he could have the worst flicks ever, yeah, which he doesn't, because I've just seen him do flicks off the spawn. But his crosshair placement, man, what is with the ads, bro? Re is making bank off me right now, man. Let's make some fire. Jesus, Fortnite and, like, their ads, bro. That's actually a scam. Why do I, my videos get nine ads? Um, you can get an ad blocker. Boxed, peace controlled. Gold spaz? Notice as well, like, his crosshair placement set him up for that peace control. Watch how he decided to make peace control on that specific corner. Watch. He goes in. Now, obviously, you know, you just take peace control. But he didn't take this wall because he knows it's not going to do out into his opponent. Some people might try and full box. But he only takes these two walls because that's the direction when you watch from here that his opponent kind of dived in. Is into that corner, so he kind of has him corner locked. Watch. One sixteen. See, corner locked. The other guy just, you know, they can't do that, bro. Old spaz. Now shit's about to go down, isn't it? Good peace control. See, not playing aggressive. Now this is what sometimes the most aggressive players actually don't drive forward. Yeah, I mean the the most W key players actually don't like go forward. They just hold their position. Like, like, he's going at the player, but he's not going forward like that. He, a lot of people would do that. I'm not saying it's bad. In some certain circumstances, it's good, but... Most players just do it because that's the way they think to play. Re is what I would call a, a woke player, man. He just knows what he's doing 24-7, but it looks of things. Like, right now, it doesn't look... Like, it looks like he's trying to be flashed, but you know he's not. The right hand peak. No. That right hand peak. He baited his opponent, man. His opponent can't do anything in that situation. Look. So he could have just taken the shot. Yeah, most people take the shot. Okay, his opponent's here. See, now that's a 50 50. That means this peak does nothing. Yeah, I mean, he might as well have no wall here. And his opponent still has his build menu out. So he could have taken a free shot and reset. And his opponent gets out that wall. What's he do? He pulls to the left. To bait his opponent out through the side where he didn't build for peace control. Whether he did that on purpose or not, I don't know. But he definitely moved to the left 
to make it harder for him to be hit and easier for him to hit the other guy because of right hand peak. That's something I'm noticing. But would that guy have moved to the right if that was blocked off by uh, Reed's wall? Probably not. So, did he leave it open for a reason? I don't know. But regardless, that was that move to the left from Reed from yeah, that was insane. No. You clipping it? Agalor. Wait, nah. He's streaming too. Oh, Aguilar. he got him live on stream. Jesus. Dab, 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 that movement. See, not even right hand peak, it's not needed. He just knows the opponent, like, look at that. He, know, he knows once he didn't have his shots ready. I just did a 200 does. Bro. This is my first time watching this guy as well, man. I can't man. lie, you did get rolled though. Well, this guy, Re I've heard of him, but like, I've never watched him. Go. Good crosshair placement again. Look where his crosshair is all the time, man. He always resets it after he edits. See, like, he doesn't even need not even needing to be fast edits. Not all the time. Tam. Consistent. Have you seen him scuff and edit all game? Nope. At least I haven't. Oh, no. He can build too, man. He's a really good builder. Full box. He's controlled to the max. No. Oh, GG's. You got some subs, bro. I'm trying to bait him. You know, he's now he's scuffing edits, but he's cleaning him up, man. Wow. Oh, he's getting third party hard, bro. If his opponent gets aggressive yeah, now, it's worrying. Yeah. See the way he swapped back from the, the metal to the wood. He really likes building out metal when he's box fighting. I'd love to know why. Because it does take longer to build, but once it's built, it's strong. He swaps the metal. He swaps the metal right there. See? Maybe it's because it's harder for his opponent to see true. Bad, 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 bad. Still at 30, we just gotta win this one. Now he swaps the brick. Maybe it's just to use his mats evenly. Hey, swap back to metal. Maybe it is, man. That, if so, that's good micromanagement of your mats. He seems to really like metal, though. Jesus Christ. GG's, wow. man. Even there, man. Even there, he's only kidding around. But he juked his opponent. Watch this. Watch, 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 watch. When he edits to the... Wait, he edits. His opponent starts running this way. And then he edits. It closed and edits open this way. Watch. See? His opponent starts running this way. You can barely see it because it's all pixelated on my screen anyway. That's his opponent going this way. Like if I put it in 0.25 speed, I know it's coming to the end, but watch. 0.5 speed. See, he juked his opponent out and then just caught him on the volley. Oh my god, bro. That might be the best, man. He might be the best peace controller I've ever seen. You boys have to give me a suggestion on who's next, bro. Like, honestly, man, I want to do more of these. I just noticed, like, I'm learning shit from this. The fact that he was micromanaging his materials should be taken as a note. That's important. Um... His right hand peaks, number one. No, number one thing about this player is his crosshair placement. Number two is his peace control capabilities. Like, they are through the charts. He, he, he can box fight. He can retake. But he can retake usefully. This is what I was saying when I did a, a, a Mr. V uh, Savage VOD review. That he's almost like he, he does retakes. Or like he builds really well. But in the build, like when he's in the build fight. He turns into a box fight by coning his opponent and full boxing him. And that's why he's done multiple times. It's almost like a retake that boxes your opponent rather than takes high ground. And then when you have him in a box fight, you're good to go. You get me? And it's all like just placement, man. That is number one player I've actually ever seen, bro. As far as like calmness, he's a controller player as well, man. And like, I know a lot of people, you know, aim assist and shit like that, man. Nah, man. That was a lot more than aim assist. Aim assist doesn't give you good crosshair placement. Um, like, yeah, but like, no, nah, man, that's skill. That's skill, you can't take away from it just because of aim assist, bro. That is, he is a skill player. He's on the radar now, man. He's on my radar anyway. I know he's on a lot of your boys' radar, but that's Reap boys. Let me know down below everything that I can, anything I can do, you know, like any types of videos, especially these videos. Give me some players to vote review or perspectives. Um, don't paste links, whatever you do, because they'll get removed. 
Also, man, I'm going to put two videos up on the screen right now. If you want to go to any of my socials, including our Discord, the links for that are down below. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. I am out of here. I'm gone. Thank you very much.